hello friends so uh, welcome back you are learning jquery so in our last classes we have discussed about many lectures uh, of uh, jquery ui function so in this class you are going to discuss about jquery ui dialog box so this is the topic and inside this uh, main diff i'm just going to launch this in chrome at once what we have inside this you can see and we have only a box here which is called main with 900 height 620 pixel background gray margin 20 pairing 20 float left and this is just the result inside this we are going to create another diff we will start diff close you can write anything for example this is a simple and dialog box you can just write here and uh, control s come here refresh so you can see this is a simple dialog box and you can just assign this a class or id i'm just using id here and the name should be something like dialog d-i-a-l-o-g so inside this you can insert a dollar sign round bracket another round bracket semicolon inside the single quotation we are going to use hash sign for selecting the dialog and here also D I L O G. control s now just come here you can just refresh now you can see we have a box here this is called dialog box and here is written this is a simple dialog box and if you want to just write a title here on the right area uh, you can write title for that you need to just come inside the round bracket and use the curly braces and here we are just going to use title inside the single quotation you can write any title for you want for example uh, D I A L O G dialog box control s and just come here refresh so you can see here is written dialog box you can just cancel this from here refresh this is the title this is the text that we have written here but for right now you can see uh, just we are going to create a button here uh, just on uh, clicking on this button you are going to run this so for creating button you just come here the u double t o n button start button close for example click click just click uh, you can say click me it's optional whatever you want you can write here so just click me and you can just come inside uh, this uh, after the function tag you are going to insert a dollar sign a round bracket dot another round bracket semicolon inside this we are going to use uh, here p u double t o n button so when someone click on this button c l i c k click so this all should run here inside this one control x and here the function should be run if you n c t i o n function then uh, just you can say round bracket and curly braces inside this i'm just going to remove this space and here control v now you can save this come here and refresh now you can see click on just by clicking i'm just going to zoom this and you can just come here and here refresh now you can see there is only a button and a text if you want to just hide this text so you can just come inside your css uh we have to, what we have for this uh dialog you can use hash dialog open curly braces you can say display dis display, display none display none now you can save come here and refresh now there is no text just click on this button so this will appear here so i want to just uh, block this just body windows not this windows just body area so for blogging you need to just put a comma here uh, we are using comma when we are using a separate uh, not separate second attribute so you are can you can write here model m o d a l not m o d a l and you are just putting the conditional true it means you want to just uh, block this body area refresh and click on this now you can see this block this button is not working if you are just going to make this disable at once 
now you can just save this come here and close this refresh click on this you can see this button is working and if you are just making this visible control s and refresh click on this now you can see this area is blocked totally so like this you can just block this here so one more thing you can just create a, a button inside this dialog box here cancel button so for doing just creating cancel button you can just come here and put a comma and after that you are just writing b-u-t-o-n-s buttons and just colon after colon you can just open curly braces and the value which you want to write on button for example cancel so you can write this uh, here anything and function round bracket and curly braces inside this uh, i just want to separate this inside this you can just say here for example dollar sign round bracket this and this one we are just inside this we are going to select d-i-a-l-o-g uh, d-i-a-l-o-g dialog and here should be just also dialog and here close c-l-o-s-e now save this come here and refresh click on this so you can see a cancel button you have so it's working you can see you have a cancel button So in, instead of this dialog, you can just write here, uh, you can just use this selector also. Control S, you can use this selector, it will just give you the same result. You can see, both of them is just working perfectly. So after this, you can just uh, give some function, for example, the way when you are just clicking on this button, the way of just appearing this uh, dialog box. So after this uh, second, uh, you can say break here or curly braces, you can put a comma and just come here. You're just writing here, the way of hiding height. And inside a single quotation, you're just writing here, P U double F, it means buff, control S. Come here, refresh, click on this, now cancel. You can see, this is just the way of hiding, but you have set this on buff. And you are just going to use a comma here and this time i'm just showing the way of showing i'm just using here slide slide control s refresh click on this you can see refresh and click on this the way of just showing this on slide and the way of hiding it's on puff mode so it was about how we can create a dialog box inside jquery and uh, this was all about this i hope uh, that you are understand it's clear for you and uh, watch all the videos uh, do practice have a nice time and see you